What's up guys, I'm Alexandre de Tabajara and I'm here to tell you something about the Havlet Packard blades of the logic analyzer. This is my new logic analyzer, the 17702B. And uh, along with this logic analyzer, I got a problem that I'm, I feel myself obliged to bring it to you. Uh, people that know me knows that I'm not used to make videos speaking English, I'm too shy for that. But there is a problem that I must talk about this because it happened to me. It will happen to you if you have a logic analyzer like this. And I hope it does not happen to you because it's a very troublesome problem and it's a very expensive problem. This is one of the expansion blades of the logic analyzer. This one is uh, 16717A. This is a logic analyzer blade. If you look, it's a perfect, it's, there's not a problem, but there is a hidden problem that will break your blade and render it unusable. This. These are the, the acrylic uh, rails that it's used to isolate the, the, the logic analyzer blade from one another. They are stacked, so the, this, this plastic rails, the acrylic rails are used not to hit the the SMD compounds, the SMD parts below the, the below the board. The glue used on these rails uh, uses to deteriorate with age and oxidizes the the, the PCB, the, the circuit boards. Along these rails. I'm sorry, I'm not that good on speaking English, but I, I have to say this. Along these rails, you, you will notice that in the junction of the glue and the, the PCB, you see little uh, green dots. This is an oxidation happening between the glue and the board, and uh, it will break the traces of the board. This board here, here is already serviced. And you can see, I will put my more detailed photos on my, my blog, tabajara-labs.blogspot.com. You see that there are lots of traces fixed, and uh, when, it, uh, when it oxidizes, it will break contact of the tracks uh, of the, the, the board, and it will render it unusable. This is very common to happen. I have many boards that it happened. I have a, a very expensive oscilloscope board that the same happened. This is a, a good board a friend of mine lent me to, to prepare. And this is my board. You can see here, let me see an area that it can be easily spotted here. There are repairs on this board and I wasn't still able to make it work. This is a $200 board. This is a very expensive board. I, I cannot afford another. So, if I were you, I would pull this track, this, this plastic pieces. It's very easy to, to pull it. You just uh, put some IPA here. You soak the, 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 the adhesive with IPA. If you put your finger here, you see, oh, whoop, it comes easily. You put more IPA on the on the other zip, and you use a, a plastic scraper, a plastic scraper, to take off all the glue. You must take great care because there are SMD components along the board, and these uh, SMD components can be pulled by the the plastic scraper. So you must take the greatest care possible to scrape the glue. After you scrape all the glue, if the board is undamaged, clean everything with more IPA and you are done. You can reattach the, the plastic with uh, a double sided tape. But please, please do it before your board blade breaks. It's a very expensive board. There are more expensive boards than that. All AP, Agilent, Keysight, and whatever name they are using this week suffer from this problem. And if it happens to your board, you have a 
great big great trouble trying to repair it so please do it before it breaks greetings from brazil i'm sorry i'm not used to speak in english in front of a camera but this is so important that i felt that i must come and make a video about that see you